yoga therapist of Sri Vidya Yoga. Do you know 56% of the men and 25% of the female in India are in the habit of masturbation and 5% of them are in the habit of indulging for more than two to three times a day. Masturbation is mostly considered as a normal habit or healthy habit according to the health science. When this masturbation becomes frequent, uncontrolled or habitual, then that condition is called as compulsive sexual behavior or hypersexuality disorder. It is also called as out of control sexual behavior. This out of sexual behavior could lead someone to bipolar disorder, depression and anxiety. This also gives other many more unhygienic mental conditions and societal disharmony. According to the yogic science, Uncontrolled release of seminal fluid could drain a person the nucleus of each and every cell in the body. It drains the potential vital energy and puts pressure onto the brain. It overloads the performance of the heart and depletes the nervous system. This condition could be overcome according to the Hatha Yoga Pratipika. The nature has given the mechanism to release the seminal fluid, it is also giving an opportunity and mechanism to stop and control this unnecessary discharge of seminal fluid. Retaining of seminal fluid, this is very important and vital according to Hatha Yoga Pratipika to allow a man to function at his best. The retention of seminal fluid inside the body makes a man lively, let's see how Vajra Nadi in the body can be strengthened, how we can work on the urogenital system through some of the sitting postures given in the yoga and you can improve your quality of life too. We all know masturbation is a very personal topic and none of us would want to talk about it in open. But if we do not take an attempt to take care of our own conditions that we would want to overcome, we are never going to see or improve our quality of life. Vajroli, sit straight, keep the hands closer to the body, open the chest, the length of the thorax region is the equivalent size of the body. Keep it straight, stretch your leg, take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale and hold the entire body in straight line. Draw all your senses towards inside. Relax. Next, Tadehi Mudra. Again, while you continue to stretch your leg and sit, take your hand up, exhale and go down. Inhale. Exhale and deepen the stomach. Stay there for five counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and release. The other one is called Manduki Mudra. Now, you can use a pillow to raise your body. Here, we stretch the body out and sit, keeping the spine straight. The pressure will be on the perineum. Release the leg one after the other. And sit straight. Now, the posture, what I am sitting in is called Sukhasana. But what we are going to see is Siddha Asana. 
keep the left leg on to the floor closer to the perineum take the other leg and slide it inside and keep both the legs one on top both ways touching against the genitals for men the genital will be in between both the heels for female the top leg will be touching the vagina siddha siddhasana for male the same one the female version is keep the right leg down and use the top leg right left leg on top this is called siddh yoni lasana sit here inhale exhale and deplete the stomach completely lock your head down and breathe normal inhale and release this simple sitting procedure can help one to strengthen the vajra nadi by making the flow of energy through the vajra nadi more simpler so i'm going to repeat all the three separately first one vajra nadi the higher version we will be raising the whole body up but since most of us are in the beginning stage we will stretch the leg up and sit straight five four three two one the body will feel so light and very much above from the floor relax tadi mudra inhale exhale hold for 5 seconds this is a lot of pressure in the abdomen region so muladhara chakra swadhisthana chakra will be greatly engaged more inhale and release next even sitting in vajrasana the most popular vajrasana will be of great help sitting in vajrasana for few counts every day will also be very helpful vajrasana the next is siddhasana keep the left leg down and pressing against the genitals in men and take the other leg and slide it inside the gap both the heels one on top of the other pressing against the genitals inhale exhale deplete the stomach completely and breathe normally release the leg release the stomach for female siddha yoni asana keep the left leg up sliding under and right leg down just by sitting in these uh, mudras and the sitting postures one can strengthen the vajra nadi which is very very essential to kick off of this habit also when we are sitting in the siddha asana or siddha yoni asana inhale and exhale and pull up all the genitals towards inside like a horse pulling it up hold it's a very simple action and gently release after five counts practicing this every day will help in strengthening the muscles in an isometric way mm-hmm.